Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily. Thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna show you my apartment here in London. If you're new to my channel, I moved to London here in August 2022. It's now February 2022. So I moved to this little flat. Hello, I'll show you it in more detail in a second. In October. So I moved here in August found a flat where I could stay for one month and potentially had the option to extend my lease But I didn't want to because it was a shared flat. It was really shitty. My room was pretty fine I can insert a picture or a clip here I also have a croissant Back to business. Sorry, I was distracted by my croissant. The flat that I found in September was It was nice. It was just very tiny, kind of dirty, one bathroom for four people, tiny kitchen, no living room or whatsoever. So, I mean, if you're sharing with people, it's better to have a living room. My flat mates were nice, but I did look around to find another place for myself. I was also the person who worked the most, so I don't know. It's kind of nice to be by yourself if you work that much in a building and then you really want to feel like you're coming home, kind of. So I was super lucky when I find this place. I'll tell you the story. It's first of all, very difficult in London to find a flat. Really, really difficult. I've lived in Paris before. London was more difficult, especially when you're working and you're not a student. Because there are affordable student houses available. But there's none, uh, like there's no options for newly grads, working, having no money and not, not being a student. That was really a challenge. So I started looking literally when I found my flat, I already started looking for a new flat. So August, I started looking already for a new flat for October. I visited a lot of places. I didn't look in the West, if I'm being honest, I looked like pretty near to my office. Like I wanted a 30 to 45 minute commute to work every day since I have to be there so much. And budget wise, honestly, I started out very low and I soon realized I had to increase my budget. So I was looking at first at places that were like 850 pounds, but obviously you're not gonna find anything for that. But I had to find that out um, pretty in a hard way, let's say. I was naive. But then I found a place really near to where I was living previously. Like my previous apartment is literally there somewhere like i can't see it but i can walk towards it like in two three minutes so it's really nearby the moving was really easy but basically i found this place visited it it's from a family agency they're super nice and friendly i didn't take it because i thought it was too pricey but then like a week later i i was disappointed because i should have taken it and i thought it would be gone so i emailed the agency and i was like hi is it still there i would like to like transfer the deposit get it now is that still possible help <laughs> And because I was like reaching the end of September, so the end of my lease, and then I had to decide if I wanted to renew it for like a full year there or not. Very happy I didn't. So I emailed the agency, hello, is it still available? And they replied to me, yes, it is, but there was a twist to it. I was lucky that it was still available because it was taken, but it was taken by somebody who ended up having visa issues. Sorry for them, but my lucky day. So literally like five minutes before I emailed the agency, the apartment got available again. So yay for me, but maybe enough talking. Let me go show you the flat. So I have this little entryway, super nice. I put all my shoes there and all gloves, hats. I have two hangers here for coats and scarves. I have extra storage space there. And then you enter my apartment. I'm gonna close my blinds for a second. So this is my bedroom, my eating room, but it is also my living room, I don't know, my semi-laundry room, my closet space, and just in general, my home. My house basically has one full room, one kitchen and one bathroom. This door was the door that you saw to go to my shoe room. I also have two hangers there. I love my bed. My bed came with the room. I brought this little carpet and then of course I have the extension cable here to go on the UK switches and then these are my European ones. I always have some water by me. I have a book that I will hopefully finish this year. <laughs> I have my earplugs. I have tissues. I have this little mist, super nice rituals. It's like I don't know, sleeping mist. Honestly, it doesn't help to go to sleep 
Then I keep my phone here, of course, my bullet journal. Then we move on to the beautiful eating, eating room. <laughs> I have two very nice cheap chairs. Very happy that they came. It wasn't here at the beginning, the table and the chairs, but I did ask my agency to bring me some and they brought me some. So basically lesson of the day, always ask for what you want because you can get so much for free if you just ask for it. So it's a very nice Ikea table. I brought the speaker, it's my computer. A candle from Primark. It smells like cedarwood and vanilla. I think it's very cute. So yeah, this is my beautiful little eating space where I have had many dinners already. My beautiful windows that you can't see right now, but I have a nice view. Like just imagine the shard there. That's a joke, I can't see the shards, but I do have a nice area. We have my beautiful couch. It was already there. It's a really comfortable couch. Then we move on to my little place where I put everything I own, basically. This closet was here. This was also here, very nice. I bought this beautiful guy on, not a market, just somewhere on the side of a road. I still need to find a pot for it and a name. I got this screen for my work. It's for when I work from home. I don't know. This one is messy. I keep a lot of things in there. Like I have like pens and paper in here, my extra glasses sunglasses this bad boy honestly anything anything that's not related to anything else that just lives on its own and is useful my next drawer i have all of my technology this is where i keep my towels all my towels and candles because i have more candles then in here we have some girly stuff just girly things haha <laughs> yeah pads tampons more pads there and these are extra sheets that i have that's my work bag an extra random chair that i don't use i do really like this corner of my room i'm in love with my plant i bought this one is it a monstera probably together with that bad boy there but i did find a pot for this one i really like the pot i also still need to find a name so if you have a name for this beautiful i think it's a girl so if you have a name for her let me know comments down below this mirror i brought from my previous apartment i brought it over the street like this i'll start with the bottom for once i keep all of my purses here so i could probably organize this in a better way i got this thing for my best friends here for my birthday 24th birthday in october i think it's adorable because they only knew me for two months by that point and they found out obviously that i love traveling and i have some sudoku binary puzzles we have a candle that's broken that i got from yana my friend sorry yana i'll try to fix it i keep a lot of easy practical stuff here so i have money in here my work card in here and tissues i have lip gloss a hair clip another plant and this one is the same as that one i bought those two plants actually on columbia road flower market different times and i thought i bought two different ones ended up being the same yeah that's my life basically then the next one i have some cute little pictures of my friends another candle these are actually the favorite ones or my favorite ones that i have in here it's linen really nice scent if you don't know then i keep some of my jewelry in here and like a little notepad same candle same plant i got this one for my birthday as well from manon thank you manon super cute and i got these recently at tiger i do have little lamps around here isn't that the cutest yay then we move on from this cute corner to this lesser cute corner my closet space i'm very grateful i have this big closet it's been here since the beginning a rack very practical um, yeah sorry my clothes are drying i didn't want to push them away for the video then my beautiful storage space up there for all of my suitcases i have a heated blanket i have extra carpet there i honestly did not clean them out so i don't know what they look like but i'll quickly show not too in depth because i don't know what's in there here we basically have bras workout clothes pajamas this is like my messy drawer and then we have underwear underwear socks underwear and socks nice this used to be more organized but i've been living life so here i keep pants any kinds of pants work pants jeans and then here same and then i have my skirts in here as well at the back this is where i keep all of my blazers more pants Coats, even scarves. This is super messy. Don't judge me. I keep my sweaters there and there. <laughs> this is where I keep all of my shirts. So I wear all of these for work. And my dresses. I have a lot of them. 
and shirts underneath like t-shirts and crop tops and whatever. Then I have extra shoes in here and more purses that I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. That one was my hallway, that one is my kitchen. So if you open this, it's a heavy door, you enter the realm of food. I have a trash here, I have my vacuum here, then my laundry basket. This is so practical, I can let my other things besides clothes dry here, really nice. The Swiffer was already here. This is my mess. I keep everything that's extra here, tissues, cotton, pads, a heater, cherry thing, I don't know what's that called. I have extra toilet paper, extra toilet paper, I have an extra bottle there. All of my medicines, I don't have that many, but everything is piled up in here. Then there, I have so many pots and plans. They were all here already, very lucky that I didn't have to buy these because that's expensive. You have my little oven here, super nice, and stove. I really love that it's a gas one. This is where I do my dishes because sadly I don't have a dishwasher. I do have a laundry machine, which I'm very happy with. Here I keep plastic bags and my cleaning supplies. My drying rack. It's very beautiful weather today. I don't know if you can see, you can see, okay. Microwave vitamins. This is my child. It's called Jonas. I bought it with Jonas, my old roommate, recently at Tesco at 2 a.m. Jonas, I will never kill this one if you see this. Thank you for spending the night with me. I'm gonna miss you. He's gonna leave London. He's gonna live his life. Jonas will never die. He will forever stay in London though. A kettle wine. I bought this one recently with me because it's called Le Fête Bastard and it's a Malbec thin. Fridge. I don't have a cool fridge. I have a lot of things in my freezer up there, but this is kind of pathetic. So let me close it. I do Belgian beers. Ooh, and more wine. Super nice. This was all here except for the wine glasses. Bought these at Asda because they were cheap. They were like four pounds for four wine glasses. I came home and I realized they were actually gin tonic glasses. That's okay because now they're just extra large wine glasses for me. This is my food. I what do I have in here? Tea, honey peanut butter cookies, yummy. And then I also have, yeah, not that interesting. So if you have my living room and bedroom there, my bathroom is right in here. It's very squeaky, listen to this. Cute. This is what you see when you enter, you have a mirror. One time I was just doing my things and I suddenly did this, oh wait, this. But I didn't know that there was a light that was working and I was really surprised. I think I didn't scream, but I did like, ah! yeah, I did this. So there's a light, the light is here. I have a toilet, very nice with a candle. Mm -mm. I have like a heating rack there, super nice. This has pads in it. I don't know what's in here. Oh yeah, my jewelry and makeup. And here you have everything else, still liners. I don't know, I have so many extra things, like extra toothpaste, all my nail polish, this. This is kind of nice. I'm really happy with my bathroom though, because I have so much space. Well, I have so many things. I never thought I was high maintenance, but now when I'm opening this and I'm actually filming it, I think it might be high maintenance. Hmm. I have all my facial creams. All of my makeup brushes, mascara, some makeup things that I use sometimes from a day-to-day -day basis. Micellar water, micellar water, face wash, fixing spray, perfumes, really nice ones, my deodorant, nail polish remover, some extra things, I don't know, like a hair oil, oils for the body. And then here on the top, oh by the way, there's also a mirror in here, very trippy as you can see, but very practical. Then there, that's a bag, but it has more pads and tampons in there, body creams, hair, dry shampoo, things humans use, basically. And then my beautiful shower. Honestly, it's so nice. It, it's, I think it's the best shower I've ever had myself in my life even. So I'm very happy with my shower and this rack. I think you can say that I have a really good bathroom in general for a 24 year old. Let me close the squeaky door. This was basically my home tour. Let me just get into the details of maybe what I pay and all of these things for this flat. Also, 
I do realize that my flat is very random. I have like nothing on my walls. It's super empty. And then suddenly there's a corner there that has so much stuff. I know if anybody who watches this has an actual sense of design, interior design, let me know some things I could do to upgrade it that aren't too expensive because I don't want to spend too much money on my apartment right now because I already paid a thousand five fifty pounds a month, which is let me calculate that really quickly because I don't know it out of my head. It is a thousand seven twenty five euros, which is a thousand eight hundred sixty eight United States dollars, US dollars. So it's a lot of money, I think, I think. I know in many other places, rent is even higher. And I must say that I have a really big apartment. But I wasn't planning on this. Most apartments that are smaller are around the same price if you want to live by yourself. I live 30 minutes away from my work, which is in really the city of London near the bank. I live more like near to Liverpool Street Station and, and Shoreditch and Whitechapel and all of those places. I really love living in the East. I think it's also a reason why I pay a little bit less than, let's say, in West London. But it's still a high price. This is not including council tax. Um, it is including some things, but not everything. So it is a lot of money, I would say, for me as a Belgian, because in Belgium, I wouldn't pay this much. I am very happy though. I can't complain. I found a flat because I have a lot of friends or acquaintances who are still looking for a place and are like going from Airbnb to Airbnb, which is much more expensive. I really feel like home. I like can walk to anywhere. I'm a big walker also, so I say it's near, like I live near to my work, but I still walk <laughs> a half an hour, uh, which is not that bad to be honest. I can also take a metro and it takes like 15 to 20 minutes then I think. So it's really convenient, especially if you work a lot of hours. And I live near to some of my friends, which is insane. Better a friend of mine lives like a street away. My old roommate lives also a street away. May lives like north, 25 minutes north of me. So that's insane, I think, and really nice. Well, this was my little apartment tour that was actually very random and I didn't really prepare any of this, but I thought this would be interesting. Let me know if you have any other video ideas and like and subscribe, definitely. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video then. Ciao, have a nice day.